Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! In this Shensha Amazing episode, we will be focusing about the cells, its structure, and function. Let's have another trivia! Tayo mga tao, kapag first na finertilize tayo, we actually start off as a single cell. Very small. Later, when we are born and when we grow up, we have 37.2 trillion cells. Now that's very incredible. Guess what? That number doesn't include the bacteria and microbes residing inside and outside of our body. In this video, we will be talking about the cell, its structure, and function. Since we are humans, let's start by exploring our own type of cell, the animal cell. Simulan natin sa cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is where the organelles are suspended o kung saan sila naka-float. Dito nakalagay ang mga organelles. Ano ba ang mga organelles na ito? We have mitochondrion or mitochondria pag plural. Mitochondrion is where the cellular respiration takes place. Ano ba ang cellular respiration? This process produces ATP or adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of the cell. Itong ATP na ito ay ginagamit natin para magkaroon tayo ng energy to do our daily activities. Kapag mababa o kulang ang ATP natin, we feel less energetic. Another organelle is the lysosome. It is where the breakdown or cellular digestion of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins take place. This is also called the suicide sac of the cell. Kapag mayroong mga foreign substances, the lysosome ingests it and breaks it down para magamit naman ng cell sa mga processes niya. Another organelle that we can find in the cytoplasm, Golgi bodies. These are responsible for transporting, modifying, and packaging proteins and lipids. At dahil silang in charge sa packaging of proteins and lipids, marami tayong makikita na Golgi bodies sa mga gland cells which secrete certain substances for our body. Another organelle sa cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum. It is a network of pathways through which materials flow to different parts of the cytoplasm. For short, ito yung highway ng cell. Dito dumadaan yung mga materials papunta sa mga specific areas kung saan sila kailangan. We have two types of ER. We have smooth and rough in the plasmic reticulum. Kung mapapansin nyo sa picture, yung orange na part, wala siyang mga dots-dots o mga naka-embed na ribosomes. This is the smooth in the plasmic reticulum. It is responsible for lipid metabolism and detoxification of drugs. On the other hand, yung rough endoplasmic reticulum naman, meron siyang embedded ribosomes, which are responsible for making proteins. One part of the cell which we can observe is the cell membrane or plasma membrane. It is a double-layered, differentially permeable membrane of the cell. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng differentially permeable? Ibig sabihin lang nito, it permits some materials to pass 
through the cell and minsan mabagal yung pagpas ng materials, minsan mabilis. At may mga materials din na hindi pinapadaan ng cell membrane papunta sa cell. In this way, the cell maintains its equilibrium and stays normal. We have the nucleus. The nucleus is said to be the control center of the cell. Why is it so? Because it contains chromosomes. Sa chromosomes, makikita natin ang genetic material ng isang organism which contains the instructions kung paano gagawin ang kanyang body parts, anong mga genes ang nasa kanya, at ito'y napapasa from parent to offspring. We are done with the basic parts of the cell. Let's proceed to the cell parts that we can only see in plants. This is a picture of a plant cell. Meron tayong mga parts which are exclusive o nasa plant cell lamang. First, the cell wall, which is the rigid outer protective cover of the plant cell. Sa animal cell, meron tayong cell membrane as protective coat. Pero sa plant cell, meron silang extra coat or cover which is rigid, to protect the plant cell. It maintains the plant cell shape. Another part na makikita natin sa plant cell only is the large central vacuole, yung color blue na nakikita natin sa picture. It is responsible for intracellular digestion, space filling, and control of cell turgor. Ano ba yung cell turgor? It refers to the turgidity. We will discuss more about it on a separate video. Remember the terms hypertonic, hypotonic, isotonic? Malaking role ang piniplay ng large central vacuole sa topic na iyon. Another part exclusive to plant cell are plastids. The most famous plastid is chloroplast, which is responsible for photosynthesis or the food-making process in plants. Aside from chloroplast, we also have other plastids, just like chromplastid, which contains carotenes and xanthophylls, which are different colors or different pigments in plants. Punta naman tayo sa mga cell parts exclusively found in animal cells. This is an animal cell. Our cell is like this. The centrosome plays an important role in cell division. Ano ba yung cell division? It is a way in which our body makes new cells in order to replace o para ma-fill in yung mga places na iniwan ng mga cells that already died. Variation in structure and form of cells. May mga cells tayo na different ang appearance nila compared sa plant cell and animal cell. Ano ba ito? Sa plants, merong epidermal leaf cells, kung saan they are stacked side by side and they protect the underlying parts of the leaf. Their parts are also arranged differently. Halimbawa, marami silang chloroplast. Well, the guard cells, which are kidney-shaped, they form the stomata or the breathing pores of the plants para ma-exchange ang gases. When the guard cells are swollen, they form a curve at yun yung pag-open ng stoma and during that time, papasok ang carbon dioxide. If it is closed or pag-shrunken yung guard cells, the stoma is closing at wala makakapasok na substance through the stoma. We also have cells in the stem of a plant. Unlike other plant cells, these cells serve a special purpose as passage of food and water and are elongated and thickened kasi nga, dito dadaan yung food para masuplayan ang iba't ibang parts ng plant. Then we have root hair cells. Sa roots ng plant, meron mga small na hair which are composed of cells as well. These root hair cells increase the absorbing capacity of roots para mas maraming minerals and water ang matake in. 
another one the cells with cilia in our windpipe o yung passageway papunta sa lungs what is the purpose bakit may cilia para ma-remove ang dust particles from the air we inhale this is a type of defense of our body para hindi madaling makontaminate ang lungs natin then we also have white blood cells or ang ating mga leukocytes these white blood cells engulf o kinakain nila yung mga infectious agents that enter our body bago pa ito kumalat sa ating buong katawan in order for us to not get sick. It's good time! Para malaman natin if you really learned something, we will have a 3-minute quiz. After that, we will check. Time's up. Let's check if correct ang answers niyo. Number one, it contains the cell's genetic material. The answer here is the nucleus. Ang genetic material ay nakastore sa chromosomes. Number two, it helps remove dust particles from the air we inhale. Makikita sa windpipe, Ito ay ang cilia. Number three, it releases energy to be used by the cell. Ano ulit yung process to release energy? Cellular respiration. At saan ito take place? Sa mitochondrion. Number four, it contains chlorophyll and responsible for photosynthesis. Sa plants to makikita. Sa mga natira, saan makikita sa plant cells? 
we have chloroplast. And last item, number 5, a network of pathways in the cell o yung highway ng cell. This is the ER or in the plasmic reticulum. We want to see how much you've learned. Kindly comment your scores in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!